Charleston County school leaders are working with MUSC implementing rapid COVID-19 testing to keep the district healthy. News 2's Riley Benson spoke with the district and parents for their thoughts on that initiative. District leaders say the testing will allow the district to identify new cases faster and to perform contact tracing to prevent any outbreaks. It shows the virtual um, option at their home school, um, but this is the kind of thing that would make me feel better about sending them back in person. Not to mention that they're driving me crazy at home. COVID-19 rapid testing. For parents, they say it's an added layer of security as students return to the classroom. I think it's a wonderful thing. I think it's a great idea. Um, it'll allow them to um, target um, and contact trace in a, in a manner that's a lot quicker. CCSD partnering with MUSC conducting COVID-19 tests to identify new cases faster and to prevent large-scale outbreaks. Well, those are the two potential uses. One, for symptomatic staff or faculty or staff or students, and then if we have an increase in cases in a particular school. The test performed by a device called ID Now with rapid results. District leaders say they're also working to secure individual tests. Data result back within 15 minutes of the test to know that that individual is uh, positive or negative. Uh, for the students, we'll have the parents sign a consent form. CCSD is hoping to have its first ID Now testing device within the next week and hopes to receive additional units to spread across the district. It's an interior test. It's not the the deep, the deep dive uh, PCR test that some of you may have had. Uh, so it's very, it's much less intrusive. And while Francis Baylot says he's waiting on a lower infection rate to send his kids back, he believes leaders are working to keep students healthy. And I've been critical of the district with their reopening, extremely critical, but I think this is an excellent step in the right direction. Now, district leaders are hoping to put the testing in place across all Charleston County schools in the weeks to come. Reporting in downtown Charleston, Riley Benson, Count on Two.